Hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this time it is on 4 Privet Drive. So on the corner of the box you see LEGO LEGO, Harry Potter and LEGO, of course. Same border that we've seen since 2018, of course. And then a picture of the board angular, pulling out the window, of course, and also all the mini things there, and age recommendation is eight no set number seven five nine six eight for privet drive and has seven hundred and ninety seven pieces and then put to the back to see the like interior of it and some of the features of it and onto the instruction manual of which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And then on the back, when on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set, of course, which is three pages, and also uh, for some of the other summer sets and limited availability. I'm not sure what they mean by that, but whatever. And then the last building steps. First of which is Harry himself, as well as torso print of which done really good. And although face print kind of common from some other sets, same with the hair piece. And as the court has shorter legs since this for his uh, younger appearance in both Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, of course. And back torso print also done quite goodly. And same with the double side face, of course. Next to which is Ron Weasley, whose torso print and face, well, this version quite exclusive from the other 2018-19 sets, of course, but same wand piece, of course, and of course that. And next to which is Dobby the House Elf. Everyone's kind of slightly annoying character, of course, but torso print, of which kind of the same as from the uh, CMF uh, 2018 line, but, or I mean, all of which the same is from that, except for the face print, which has an open uh, grin to it, rather, open smirk, rather than just a closed smirk than that. And of course, but besides that, the torso prints, of which all done quite goodly, same with the double or double molded. Uh, legs, short legs, of course, and, also, and of course, it, soft rubber, like the last version, of course. And next to which is uh, Uncle Vernon. Yeah, Vernon. Vernon Dursley, yeah. It was first time ever having it since the outdated 2002 version of Privet Drive. But besides, although he was kind of a chunky guy in the films, but although this torso print does kind of work for him, but which does look good, and also no back torso print, which is kind of uncommon for many things nowadays. But besides that, also face print, which also done quite good, and good use of this hair piece, of course. I mean, kind of a small face, of course. Although I do think this hair piece could have been in a bright blonde or something. And next to which is wife is the wife uh, Petunia uh, Dursley. Her torso print also done quite good, and the face print also kind of all right. And good use of this hair piece, kind of the same as uh, as uh, Umbridge, of course, and. Back torso print also done quite good, and as for her double side face, of course. And last but not least, also first time of having the son Dudley. And his torso print also done well, and of course, nice double side face, kind of suiting to most of his appearances. And back torso print also done quite good, and 
good use of the Emmet hair piece. And of course, shot double side face, kind of suiting to the like uh, Python scene in Sorcerer's Stone, of course. But then also, also included is this all new version of Hedwig the Owl, of course, but with open wings rather than closed in wings. But besides that, the molding, great, and the print of which also good. And then from the back, the well sculpting, great. So much good improvement over those older versions. And as for the mini builds of this set, it is the little cake that Dobby levitates to most of the others. And it's on a couple of clear stands, of course. And so with a little cherry on top, of course. And next to which is the privet drive sign. Kind of a simple build, but at least it well works out. And hey, also interesting use of one of the owl pieces on top. Although it would have been nice if it had another one on it, kind of suiting to this scene in Sorcerer's Stone when a whole bunch of owls come around. But yeah. And next to which is the enchanted car, of course. This being like the third or fourth version. Although it's kind of similar to the 2018 version that came in the Whopping Willow set. The like the shaking of it all kind of the same, which we'll go over in a sec. But also door piece of which with a printed line to it, done quite nicely. And that's the front part of which which does have that wheel. Uh, rim kind of piece, but also quite effective to it. And from the back part of which, with the chain coming off, as you know, good use, of, some nice use of those pieces for the tail lights, of course. Flip it up, and, and there's a suitcase, or a suitcase. Is right to and we'll take the roof off, and there's enough space to. Fit your Ron Weasley minifig into it, of course. And the chain hanging out, which was well, one of the main features of it, which we'll go over in a bit. But as compared to this 2018 version, you know, unlike with the other two versions from over time, I see design so it's kind of the same except for the back window part. As I see, it's made of actual jagged slopes, but this, but the other, which is a window with a sticker on it. Also, the back trunk of which has a few uh, curved slopes rather than a large one. And also the top hood of which. Also a little different, where it's one big car hood piece rather than just a smaller one with a couple of slopes to it. So this is which kind of been annoying, with, but I guess they decided to add it in because it's you know in this scene because they're in both scenes, of course. And next and lastly is Privet Drive House or the Dursley's house itself. major improvement over the original 2002 version, of course. And as for the front part of which, it has that like bush with a lot of good use of the newer leaf pieces and also some of the little flower pieces in the uh, spring and minty green, of course. And also, all right use of some of them friends pieces, flower pieces, 
Same with that. And I see uh, one of those brown tip plates, but that says four, uh, since it's four rivet drive. And as there's a lot of stickers in this, starting with this door, which of course has the mail slot with a lot of letters coming in, of course. Okay, a couple of little bar pieces probably acting as uh, uh, gutters. And also, do get tons of the long jagged slope. And are put to some good use for it. And also, there's a slight little build of the chimney here, of course. And if you look from this side, and it has a little light there. And from this other side, which is where the one of the features comes in, and it's kind of barred up since, of course, Vernon put bars on it to prevent Harry from escaping, of course. Little things are all the same. But, and as for the interior of it, it's kind of lacking. You know, it would have been nice to like have a little TV onto it, like in most of its appearances. Let's see. And what this technic gear is for is if you turn that, then a few letters fall out, of course. And how to put it in again is in this little slot above our words. Oh, which I give like a lot of props to that. Although it could have worked with some more letter pieces, but maybe that would be a little too much. And I see simple bricks, but used quite effectively for the stairs, of course. But also with this wall, is that you can flip open. Well, it's supposed to uh, click open. But other than, well, uh, maybe I'll get back to that in a bit. But anyways, for this upper level, which is kind of vacant, so it's supposed to be like the other bedroom that. Harry kind of lived in between the first two. Also, oh, also, do you get the little tile that has the whole ver uh, Dursley bunch, of course. But also, do you get another which that has James and Lily Potter. Oh, well. Of course, to have some of the Gryffindor pride to the things, and, and of course, there's a bed that Harry can sleep on, and of course, also what Dobby can jump around on. Although, kind of, although it's missing is the wardrobe that Harry puts Dobby in. When you open this wall, make sure you put it on, your thumb on the light and pull it open. But anyways, do you get a little bit of a bed area for Harry to sleep on, as suiting to the appearance in Sorcerer's Stone, of course, and also where to put a also a broom and shovel, since of course it's a crawl space, or the crawl space that Harry lived in. And now to one of the main features of the set is that you can like 
the actual fluid angler and put the chain on one of the bars, of course. And you can like pull it forward and it pulls the window right out. Oh, kind of like the original version, just like the original version. But, and of course, Vernon can just fall right out of it. Of course. So this sequence so it works great. Or this feature works great, of course. Almost like the original 2002 version, but at least it's on studs rather than just on plates. <clears throat> and let me get it all here. verdict of which this I think of which does great ver great improvement over the original 2002 version of Privet Drive at least at least quite does well fit its uh, in film appearance of course although uh, the Ford Angler of which is uh, not so much different than the uh, 2018 version in the Walking Willow one but at least it can kind of work for this one and of course, you get a new version of Dobby, and of course, the whole Dursley bunch, of course, and also the newer version of Headblade, which is included in a couple other sets, of course. So this, which probably a must-have, of course. So like some plenty of good features, and of course, the window pulling out feature, which works great to it. And also the letter drop-down feature, also great. So this is which pretty much just almost perfection of that. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, I'd say definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get a new get some Harry Potter theme into your Lego City, so which also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.